Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Broad Beach Bowls Club for the Bowls Australia 2023 National Development Series and of course what a colossal game we had in the first game of course in co-commentary with this afternoon Mr Bruce Kirk, g'day Bruce G'day Brian, how are you going? What, right. a, what a great game that first one was this morning of uh, uh, Team Green up against Team Yellow which was Lauren Banks and Kane Nelson up against uh, Brianna Smith and Nick Cahill Made a colossal game Bruce Quickly run through the uh, right at home uh, in care, in home care and assistance and the Australian Institute of Sport are the major sponsors for this development series and congratulations and thanks to them for uh, supporting this series and a big shout out to Karen she's running around here somewhere uh, but uh, for putting this event on, and fantastic. Yep. It's been, fantastic. mate, we've had two and a half days of uh, superb bowls, and this game here is not going to disappoint neither. I can assure you that the for the viewers will really appreciate this one also too, Bruce. Yeah, we've got the para, uh, para pairs. We've yep. got uh, Jodie Nicolick from Western Australia and Josh Barry from Victoria, and they're up against Dallison East from Victoria and Brett Sellers, uh, the Queenslander. Yes, uh, Brett is from the um, Salander Lakes Bowls Club up on Bribey Island. Bribey Island, yeah. <laughs> and um, so this should be one heck of a game. So it looks like Team Blue are going to lead off. Uh, it should be, uh, as I said, one heck of a battle, this one here. So uh, really looking forward to it. Oh, is Mum running past? Uh, Mum running past, yep. All right. Okay, Allison. Allison East on the mat. Mm -hmm. You said Allison's from uh, Perth, I think you said, was it? Oh, uh, WA, yeah. WA, no, she's yes. Perth. Sorry, Perth WA, I should yeah. say. Okay, Allison on the mat. Of course, this is the final of the pairs. Uh, Bruce sorts out who's going to get gold and who's going to get silver. Yes, we uh, we had uh, Jody and Josh on yesterday. Yep. Uh, in the game that we broadcast, and uh, this is the first game we've had with um, Allison. I oh, know you had Allison in day one, didn't you? Was um, Allison on? No, no, no. Sorry, no, no, no you yep. didn't. No, Allison and Brett Sellers. Should be a crack of a game, mate. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Okay, Jody was having a fair bit of trouble with her um, wheelchair the other day, mate. But I see she's uh, they've modified it, and she said to me this morning that she's having um, a pretty reasonable time with it this day and age now. Yeah, it was collapsing the the, the, the yeah uh, uh, on her her right side, side is yes. a panel that sits up allows her to sit straight. Yep, and uh, it was collapsing. Yes. So what they've done is they've got a little breadboard, a little cheese board. Yep. And jammed it in there. And uh, it, it's holding it in place. And she, uh, yeah, she's not falling down. Yeah, which is great. Hmm. Good stuff. Great to see uh, see her comfortable with her uh, delivery now, mate. So we see a good-looking bowl here. Yeah, that's a great bowl. Yeah, well done. That's um, Alison. Yep. Alison East from WA is... Uh, no, Alison's from Vic. From Vic, I beg your um, pardon. Jody's from Jody's right. from WA, I should say, yep. yes. Yep. That's correct. And Josh is from Victoria, mate. Yes, yes. So we've got a great cross-section of the bowling community around here at the moment, mate. Okay. Jody on the mat at the moment. Doesn't have to change too much from her first bowl. Played it very, very well. She's let it go now on her forehand once again. Starting to run into the head. She's not going to be too far away. Just going to sneak under the head. That's a great try there by uh, by Jody. Hey, Alison. Oh, she's going to sneak over to her backhand by the looks of this. First two bowls have been on the forehand. Well, she's got to come under that uh, 
Yeah. Right hand bowl. Yeah, it's tell you what, just cut in. Yeah, this is played pretty well too. Yep, underneath, underneath, and great bowl. Yeah, See, Brett, well done. Brett egging it on too, just quite <laughs> yeah, <hit> there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, flicking it across there. Flicking it across. I do that. It doesn't listen to me, no. my bowls. No, it doesn't listen to me neither, mate. Right, Jody. Let it go. Do you watch? She's got a beautiful grass line. Yeah, she's on it. If she's running past, he's got to turn in on uh, on Allison's bowl. Oh, unlucky. She'd love to have sat that. Yeah, if she sat that, she would have been pretty close to shot, mate. Mm. But um, just got the edge of it, unfortunately. And it's great to see these uh, participants being able to play our great game. Um, I'm not too sure, Mary, whether... I'm just having a look out there. Where is the singles final? Next Let door. Next uh, door. No, Cooper's playing in the... Uh, down the far end down there, he's playing in the... Uh, he must be in the playoff for... Um, for bronze. Because I think the... I think Josh won the um, the gold, mate. Yeah, Josh won the gold, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yep. Yeah, Coop's playing off. I see Cooper down there. Yep. He's playing up against um, Lucas. Yes, that's correct, yes. Down the end down there. You've and got Lucas Fred, Fred, Fred and Lucas. Lucas, yes, that's correct. Um, that's correct. Um... Okay, Josh. He is a few down. So who's Cooper's playing with in team? Oh, he's playing with Matt Barry um, from uh, ACT. Yep. Yes, good starter from Josh. Just looking around about five foot in behind the head, but his grass line's not too bad. So, Mary, in that convoluted way... Uh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Sorry about that. We just had to check a couple of things and, and look along the rinks to see where the boys were at. So you want a good-looking bowl coming in here too. Yep. Well played. See, uh, Josh's shirt has turned up. Right. The yellow one. On his uh, on his backhand, being a left-hander, has to drop. It's got to be just around this or under it. Oh, just going to run out of legs. Again, he had a perfect line on that. So Brett probably stick to his backhand there. I reckon, mate. He's not too much damage he can do there, really, uh, Bruce. Not really. No, he's got a gap there. He can come through because I think they're holding possibly one, two. Three, four, and maybe that one up front. Yep. Going to sneak under this one. See, if just it misses it. this, it'll. That's going to stop in a. Oh, just caught the edge <laughs> of that bowl, mate. Just running on. Mm. Yeah, that's the grey and blue one, two, and then you got the black, black, black. Yeah. Yep. Geez, well, it, it could well be a five there at the moment, unless uh, uh, Josh can get uh, a bowl in the middle there. Yeah, well, Josh looks like he's going to play his forehand. Backhand a bit fluttered. Got a beautiful line on this. Oh, depending upon his weight. Yeah, oh, got to be around it. Probably still be a few down there, Bruce. Yeah, it looks like it may be four. Yeah. Well, four that I can see very quickly. Yes, that's... One, two, yep, there's the f three, four. 
and depending on this one down the line, there's the four. And it'll be between that blue bowl there. Mm. I don't know if that's in. No, it may not be in, no. <clears throat> oh, it could well be the grey one, grey and black one there. Yeah, to see these two are in, or one of them anyway, Bruce. Mm. By the looks of it. Well, it's certainly in. And five it is. Okay. Okay. Handy start there to the um, Brett Sellers lead combination. Hmm. That is a good kick off. Yes. Okay, not a bad roll here, neither. It's going to be uh, basically a medium to three-quarter length. Okay, Alison... Alison East looks like she's going to play her backhand. Playing back away from the sporting fields down at uh, Broadbeach Pilot Club. Playing back towards the third green. The green's just behind us. She's telling us that she wanted a bit more grass than that. So this the players know straight away, don't they, Bruce? If it's oh, be yeah. Yep. Around it. But, uh, well, it leaves your hand. You think, oh, what have I done? Yep. Okay, Jody. The uh, yeah, you've got the soccer fields there behind the club yeah. here. And I'm for the life of me, I think not too sure whether they used to play softball from that corner up there with the diamond coming this way up. Okay. I'm sure they used to play uh, softball there. Yep, fair I'm enough. going back too many years. We got the uh, We've got the soccer field, we've got the bowls club, we've got the croquet yep. club next door. Yep. We've got everything around us, mate. Yep. We've got a beach just over there. Beach, yeah. We've got a surf club just there. Hey, we've got everything. How good is this? Okay, tell you what, corrected it here. She's got a beautiful grass line on this one here, by the looks of it. Where's the... Beautiful uh, grass line. Just running through the head. Because you've got that. Uh, Looks like it's come back right on the line by the looks of it. If you've got Karawa Surf Club up there. Yep. Uh, uh, that's further up. Mm. Heading that way towards the centre of Broady. Okay, Jody. Got her, Kate. Just cut her grass line down slightly. And her weight. Yeah, lovely bowl there by Jody. That's yep. a great bowl, isn't it, eh? Yeah, and good grass, that. Oh, absolutely perfect, mate. Right on the line. Ah, yep. oh, good afternoon. It is afternoon. Yes, it is. Vince, how are you going? He's at the Austral Eagles Bowling Club down in Sydney. Oh, OK. Good delivery. Yeah, um, I was going to say, there, Mary, there's Cooper over on the far, far end over there. Yep. Look at this for a bowl. Yeah, Wallison, good bowl here. Come on, in you come. Yeah, hard to say which. I don't fancy the back bowl. Yeah, but pretty close, though. Mm. Be pretty close there, I think, Bruce. Hey, Jody. How good's her memory? It's away okay. Josh seems to like it. Yeah, well, it's 
Around Maybe the... a little bit wider, but... Uh, Yeah, well, probably up and down for sure. I'm not too sure who's got shot there, Bruce. I yeah, it's hard to... Uh, it's hard to judge, isn't it? With the shadow on that um, tricolour bowl of Jody's and, of course, um, Allison's. Just hard to tell. Nine times out of ten, I always favour the flat-line bowl, mate, as you know. Mm, you know I, that. I, I, um yeah, looking at it live, I, I was fancying mm. Jody's bowl at the back there, um, the orange and orange and teal. Mm. Okay, Brett Sellers on the mat. Looks like he's going to play his backhand. Is he onto this front bowl? He's only got to roll at half a roll and he's definitely in for shot, but why bother about moving that? I'll come in with shot myself, he says. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely uh, that's definitely shot. Yep. Okay, Josh. Oh, come around, Josh, come around. Yep. Great ball. Played that very well. Yeah, it's just got to be away from that blue bowl of, of Josh's. It's got to be around um, it, mate, really, doesn't he? Well, either around or if he can crash this, that black bowl of... There we go. That probably brought it in for. Uh, well, may not have. I can. And Jody's just there. Uh, when we're looking out live, she's just in our our view there. Yep. Okay, Brett, can he get rid of that bowl? Hold him out of a few, mate. It certainly is. Yeah, good attempt. Yeah, just a little bit wide on that and uh, yep. good effort. And, uh, again, Josh has got to be just a little bit careful, but mind you, if he... Uh, because if he comes down on, uh, you know, is Josh left, left handed? I'm Josh is, yes. Yeah, Josh is, that's right. So, you know, he's just got to be careful there. He doesn't promote that, uh, any of those black bowls. But he could, uh, yeah, he, so he's playing his, um, his forehand. Yeah. Oh, he's gone in through the. You'd want to hit your own there, Joshy. Yep, bad luck. Yeah, no, missed a lot, mate. Yeah. Interested to see. I can't see that uh, black bowl. Okay, yep. One to Team Blue of yep. Allison and Brett. Okay. Allison, she's going to lengthen this out a little bit too if it stops. Mm, and it is going to stop. There we go. Yep. Yep. Up on the tee. It's a very good three quarter length here. That uh, view looks just a little yep. bit darker than the other camera. Maybe it's my glasses. Could be your glasses, yeah. right? It does look a little bit darker. After, yesterday, after <laughs> yesterday, I'm wearing the glasses today. I <laughs> Couldn't tell them apart. Yeah, 
Okay, Allison looking to dead draw it. She's on a great line. Has she got the weight? Gee whiz, she's not going to be too far oh, she's away. She's going to be right on it. Oh, that's a great bowl. Yep, well done. Well done, Allison. That's a great bowl. There's that breadboard and that. Yes, just, yes. Just uh, under her right arm there. Been uh, modified, uh, especially for her. And it's not her sandwich making ability. <laughs> no, no, no. It's to, it was mm. to force it out because she was collapsing. Mm. And when she leant against it, it had collapsed over onto the wheel. And that's where the problem, the problem lay with her. Christine Sibley watching from Auckland in New Zealand. G'day, Christine. Okay, Alison once again on her forehand. Needed to be just a little bit wider, I think, with this one. Just going to sneak across the head. Just, just going to miss the kitty. Yeah, well, handy she, spot. Yeah, she's leaving gaps there, uh, Bruce, so... Uh, I mean, you look at those two bowls there as they stand, you think they're two different bowls, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> one's grey with black and the other one's <laughs> black with grey. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Jody, just got to correct it. Yes. What a great bowl here. Oh, Take it with you. That's a no. gem of a bowl. Well played. Unfortunately, just yeah took it back too far. It's still in line now with that, uh, or still the shot bowl being the black and uh, black and grey. Or is that the grey and black? Now we <laughs> we've got to ask ourselves. We've got that. to ask ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it's good to see uh, Barry Barry Atkins. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, just starting to work into the head now. I'm not going to get back in time. Lynette says, go team yellow. Okay, just hearing the call there. Play down there again. Okay, she's lining it up. Look at that. I was having a good chat to her this morning, mm -hmm. and I said, I notice you uh, you raise your arm up high. She said, let's get my uh, my line. I, mm -hmm. I, I line it up when it's up high, and then I bring it down, and that's for my balance, mm -hmm. to get, it, get her balance and her weight. And then I deliver it. Geez, that's that. a great bowl there. Once again, Bruce. Yep. Around the back there. Yep. yep. That's a great bowl, mate. Quite a good head we got there over this distance, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's, uh... it's a good three-quarter length, I'd, I'd say. I'm having a bit of a look at it. The, uh, the marker. Or the helper, I should say, that... Uh, does most of the measuring for them and, the and that, which is, yeah. you know, it's great to have that uh, person out there helping them. I think it's a great idea, is my personal opinion. Chalks the bowls. Yep. Yep, chalks the bowls. Well, you wouldn't have much to do if I was on that rink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be unemployed. <laughs> Not like these people. My godfather. Now, these bowls of Brett Sellers, mm -hmm. they're identical to mine. And how come mine don't go close to the jack like his does? Well, probably di oh, they're probably from a different different set, different make. Totally different make. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe you get him to train yours for you. <laughs> <laughs> There's Brett. I tell you. Just trying to play down here. 
He's probably yeah. a little bit wide for what he's after with that one, but he had mm. good weight for what he was after. Yeah, I mean, take that weight off, good line. He, he would yep. have come in under that bowl. Yep. And probably come through to... Uh, uh, to, to Jody's bowl there. To Jody, or even Allison's and, and, yes. and, and, and just sit rolled Allison. it over, mate. Yeah. Sit Allison out, correct. Yeah. yeah. So... Josh just coming around the back here, but pretty handy location where he's come there. That's not too bad. That's yep. fact, there's really good weight, really good draw weight, that bowl. All right, Brett. Have another go. He's got on a tighter line this time. This time he has, yeah. Yep. Oh, he just needs a little clip on it. No. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Okay, Josh sticking to his backhand, being a left-hander. Just going to drift. It's green running beautifully here this afternoon, isn't it? Yep. Oh, a little. Oh, oh gee whiz. <laughs> I thought that would have fallen over just with yeah. fright. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, they definitely favour themselves for shot by the looks of that call there, uh, mm. Bruce, by the looks of it. With the black bowl? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, anything can happen it's, here. It's a better line. But, oh, don't hit this time. Oh, bad luck. Jeez, that a good way to come in. Now, did he roll that over sufficiently? I don't think so, no, mate. No. no. There's still shot there for... Uh, yep. Uh, that's uh, Allison's bowl, the grey and black. Yep. Yes, that's true. Yes. Okay. Josh, just looking to reach um, Jody's bowl, just to roll it over. Tell you what, he's on a perfect line for this too. Yes. Any movement of the kitty too. He's happy days. In, down, and... Two shots. Two shots. Lovely bowl, Josh. That is a great bowl, mate. It's yeah. a class bowl, that. That was a good bowl. Yep. Yep. Yep, so two down. Two, yep. High fives going around. <laughs> yeah. It's great good to on see them. you. Ah, good on him. Yep. Great ball there from Josh Barry. See young Nick on the rink beside pick up four last end. <coughs> so what's Nick playing in? He's Singles. Against Cohen. No. No? No, Cohen's on the rink next oh, to them. Oh, he's the next door. He's, yeah, uh, up, he's up against... Um, Kane Nelson. Kane Nelson, and Kane yeah. has... Re he's got revenge there so far. It's 4-1 to Kane. Over Cohen after last night's uh, game. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Which I think young Kane's still having nightmares over from talking to him this morning, so... Jody, as you said, she lines it up, brings it down. <coughs> that's for her, yep, that's for her weight. Yep. And then get ready just to deliver it. Yeah. Tell you what, she's got this away very nicely too, though, Bruce. Maybe a bit runny, but uh, 
anything in behind the head and a green running this well, very, very, very beneficial. And the other thing is she wouldn't give me her Paddington Bear hat. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's sad. <laughs> it's sad that I'd want to wear it. <laughs> that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just see young Jono down there, Jono Davis there, he got a bit excited, he uh, he changed the numbers around, then he realised that uh, the signals players have both got a bowlish to play, so he yeah. had to turn it back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they great bloke, there's one a lovely tr bowl there too from um, from Jody sitting around about Jack High. Okay, Jody just trying to beat Allison's bowl there, which is Jack High there. You just see Josh standing in there, just showing her where the grass line is to beat that bowl. Yeah, a little wide. Oh, little just caught the edge of it. I'm just interested to see there. Um well, it's in the fours game over there. It's 8-4 at the moment. Decane Nelson over uh, Cohen... So eight four, Kane over Cohen. Just trying to see who um, Nick's playing. Tyson Cromie, I think. Yeah, he's playing Tyson. Yeah, Tyson. Yes. Tyson. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, mate. Yeah. Jeez, what a great bowl here. That's come into a very good home. Yep, good home there. Yep, just behind on the line. Well yep. played. Yep. Good bowl there, Allison. That's two very good bowls. But uh, Jody, Got two handy bowls there. Just a little bit behind the head. That's all. Uh, this is the last game in this uh, wonderful series that we've uh, showcased. Yeah, the National Development Series. Yep. yep. Really has been a cracker of a series. And see... Um, good tournament. Oh, it's been brilliant, hasn't yeah. it, mate? Absolutely. You've got to take your hat off to Bowls Australia for uh, showcasing this wonderful event, really. Uh, Bruce, it really has been a, a great display of bowls for the last three days. Mm, yeah. Every stream we've had has been a colossal game. And once again, too, Alison on a beautiful line. Once again, Alison East. Yeah, just got a turn in, yeah. Yeah, that's three very good bowls. Three there. good bowls, yeah. But, uh, So down to the skips now. Gee whiz, haven't they had a good battle so far? Yeah, they yeah. certainly have. Josh and Brett. The way Josh has been playing, you know, he'll either... Well, he's coming on his forehand there. Yep. He's only... I mean, he's, he's, the way he's been playing, he's got room to just draw straight out. Well, he may have gone a little bit wide here. I was going to say, coming on either of those bowls of... Um, of uh, Allison. Yep. But just went a little bit wide on that. Mm. Yep. Not too bad. So just pull up a little bit short. Okay, Brett. On a yeah. nice line with this one here. Comes down to his weight. Yeah, that's a far better line. Yeah, it's looking very good here. It's starting to draw into the head. Uh, very good bowl there from Brett. Allison willing it in. Yes. <laughs> Mate, the sheer enthusiasm uh, yeah. when it comes down to shots, isn't it? Um, 
So Josh changing his hand here. He's got quite a few bowls to rest on. And he is on an excellent line with this, and his weight's looking pretty good too. He may not have to rest on anything. He's just I drawn he's the just absolute. Gonna, I think he's just going to rest on his laurels. Yeah, that's a great yeah, bowl Yeah, well there. done. Yeah, good bowl there, Josh. Well yeah. done. Now, Brett's got the opportunity, really, of um, setting that bowl or trailing the kid. He has got a few catches there sitting just in behind the head. Okay, Brett. He, he either wants to pump this black bowl of his at short, pump it up, or miss. Oh, oh dear. dear. How yeah, unlucky is that? He just caught uh, the edge of that. Had Very he not unlucky. caught that, he would have come in on it perfectly. Yep. yep. So... <laughs> He just, he just caught the edge. He said if he had any movement on that kitty then or sat that shot, um, yeah, happy days for him. But, again, a great bowl by Josh. He's had a very experienced campaigner, Josh Barry. And look at this for another bowl too. Wants to finish. Right side, right yep. side. Yeah, yeah, that's very good bowling by Josh. Uh, having a good look at it. Alison's saying one, but uh, geez, I would think it's possibly two there. But then again, that uh, that blue bowl that came in, the second blue bowl that came in. Yes, yes. Could, have, could be just holding uh, outside that other bowl mm. that there. Uh, but you'd have to be, you'd have to think it's two with the two blue bowls of um, of Josh. Well, it certainly will be if he touches this. Well, it would have to be two now. That's shot, and it'd have to be the other blue yep. bowl up there. Yep. Yeah, two shots. Mm -hmm. Two. Good pick up there by Josh. Another two. Uh, yes. Well done. Okay, let's see what length they're going to play with. They're taking the mat right back to the tee. Yeah, it certainly is. So, mm. could be interesting. Okay, Jody. See so Josh standing up the line there slightly, so he does. He's not going for full length, but uh, he's going to go in behind. Well, I him. think it'll go past, past him. him. Yes. <laughs> so even if he didn't want full length, he's definitely got it. He has now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good throw by Jody, though. Well done. On the tee, and the mat's on the tee, so it is definitely full length, mate. And, of course, now compared to the first game, as the viewers can witness, is that uh, the green now, the back green here at uh, Broad Beach Bowls, love in absolutely magnificent condition and running absolutely superbly here uh, this afternoon. A big thank you to the green staff. And I don't know if uh, Les is watching, but uh, they tell me he's on holidays. But as I said previously, Les, uh, I've heard you had a hernia operation, mate, so that's not a holiday, OK? Oh, no. Nah. So congratulations to you and your staff, mate, for an absolute uh, superb job once again, my friend. Gee whiz, if that's a holiday, I don't want to go on holidays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, has been there and done that with hernia, so um, no, that's a great job, uh, Les and the crew. Okay, first bowl there of um, 
Jody's just running through the head. We've got a lovely starter here from Allison, though. It's not going to be too far away. Very good weighted bowl. Yep, good bowl. Yep. Where did... Oh, there it is there. Jody's up on the bank. Up on yeah. the bank there, mate. Yeah. So Jody with her next bowl, as you said, she tries to get her... Uh, her length and her weight from this holding it up. Yep. And that. And her wheel is straight up, but yep. you watch her arm. Maybe she delivers and she'll, she leans over to the right. Right, yes. And delivers the bowl, and that's yep. how she gets it there. Yep. I'll tell you what, hasn't she corrected beautifully here, though, Bruce? Oh, I'll start to pull up. Yep. Yeah, well done. Good yeah, bowl. Great bowl. Yeah, she's got another one she can uh, pick up and take the jack to. Yep. Um. Okay. You just want to go see him? He's just there, I think. Yeah. There he is. Yep. So we're just going to bring a bit of a guest commentator in. I'll play the nose a little bit about the game, too, just quietly. But uh, he's going to be sitting down here in a second, so look forward to his input. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the Australian coach. Gary Willis on board. Good. Hello, Brian. Good day, Gary. How are you, mate? Good, it's thank a you. pleasure to have you. Wonderful to see you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's fantastic. Just saying how intriguing this uh, para game is. These athletes, they're... Uh I see uh, Jody fixed her wheelchair with a chopping board. <laughs> <laughs> Improvised. <laughs> Improvised. <hey? laughs> Isn't it fantastic to see? But gee whiz, what a display they're putting on. And I uh, must say, Gary, it must be very exciting for you to see such uh, raw talent that we have out here in the uh, junior and the para ranks. Oh, it is, absolutely. And it's great to see them get this opportunity, Brian. So, you know, it's taken a, a lot of work um, through the HP team and support yep. through the AIS and, and obviously Broad Beach Bowls Club and, and you guys yourselves for helping us all out. Out and getting this up and running and um, and making it the spectacle it is. So I'm really excited just to see the talent that's uh, in our system and and to give them um, a, a great competition that they, they, they're in front of the selectors, they're in front of all four national selectors are here watching yes. them. They get to know them and get to see how they play and, and that's great for their ongoing development. Oh, absolutely. You know the good-looking bowl there, very well grass bowl. Just need a little bit more run. Something like this is, doesn't take five minutes to put together, so there's been a lot of work out there in the back blocks to, uh, to get them here, their disciplines. Now, the, we've been asked numerous times, particularly from people overseas that are amazed by this, saying, what is this? How do they do it? Now, if you could just say who picks the teams, who puts them into their colours, they, you know, like Team Yellow, Team Blue, Team Red, Team Green. So if you can just explain that to the viewers, a lot of them would be very appreciative. Yeah, no, that's no problem. So it's actually, it's been a massive process. So uh, basically we've we've got four squads in the Jackaroos system. So they're all contracted with, uh, with Bowls Australia and, yep. and the AIS, obviously. So... Um, we've got our pathway squad, which is generally our, our younger crew coming through the system that have been talent ID'd throughout the, the states. Uh, we've got our emerging jackaroos, which are the next cabs off the rank. They're hot on the heels of our of our open squad. Squats. So the the um, the uh, open jackaroo squad, ten men and ten women. Um, and then we've also got our paras. So uh, what happens, um, they're selected uh, every October, basically announced every November each year. Uh, and from that squad, the selectors, national selectors, have identified this squad of, uh, yep. and divided them into four teams, teams. obviously. Um, and they've come here to um, give them that development opportunity and, and to watch them. Yeah, Mate, absolutely first class, mate. And I must... Uh Oh, he just, just missed the kitty there. But holding two shots there, Brett Sellers. Must give Bowls Australia a huge pat on the back for putting this together and also giving these players the opportunity to come and showcase their skills, which has been absolutely outstanding. The talent on show is uh, it really... I'm actually in awe of it. I just The talent just changes some of the games we've displayed, being absolutely first class. And as I said, that's why the selectors must be pretty excited that the future of Australian bowls is in pretty good hands. 
Yeah, it is, and, and you know we've we're rich with talent. We've been yeah. we're very lucky. We're very well supported, as as everyone knows. You know our major sponsor, right at home, and yep. and Broadbeach Bowls Club to host the event, and and obviously Bowls Australia itself, and and the AIS. You know we we look at this program, um, the Pathways program, and it's not only a development opportunity for the players; it's also a, a development opportunity and succession planning for our coaches. So you'll see, um, you know, rinkside there. We've got people like James Reynolds from New yes. South Wales. Pathways coach. We've Absolutely. got Ian Ewing from from Victoria. We've got Lindsay Clark from Queensland. Yeah. Claire Turley from Queensland. Ben Twist from New South Wales. You know, so these guys are here. They're also cutting their teeth in uh, succession planning to take over from the national coaches. So. Uh, you know, mate, I've probably had my day and <laughs> it's time for me to move on and, oh, um, I don't think and they're so, ready mate. to go. So um, yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's a holistic approach to development for our program. It's something that you always got to look forward to is basically forward planning. And I think, as I said, uh, the structure of this and let alone the quality that we've seen. But the thing about it, though, too, is that for the players to have such outstanding mentors behind them where, I mean, a lot of people say, you know, why is he talking to the case for it. Well, sometimes the players, particularly at this level, they may be in two minds what shots to play and what better people to ask than the people standing behind them because they've all been there, done it previously, uh, Gary. So, Oh, know. absolutely. You, you know, you, you, you pinch yourself sometimes, Brian, when you look at the quality of the people that we've got in the program, program. coaches and, and our high-performance staff. Yeah. And, you know, you think back in our day when we first started, mate, if we had some of those people <laughs> in our corner, we would have been blown away, you know. Well, so, absolutely, mate. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And, and you're right, it's just all part of the learning journey. Yes. And, and it's all part of that support that we're able to prov- provide. And, um, no, they're, they're absolutely uh, spoilt for choice and options with uh, the support they get, that's for sure. The thing that I've noticed too, though, with a lot of the players, though, is that with the live streaming that we do is every time we go into an event how the quality of bowls has improved and the thing that impresses me too particularly at this level too with these younger players is the way they're varying the length the leads aren't just like we did nowadays free them out there and roll the kitty you know getting beaten by 20 but the opposition's playing a certain length you win an end but you still play the same length where these players are really making sure that the opposition can't hone in on a length that they get comfortable at yeah, I think you're, you're spot on there. And it comes back to, you know, it comes back to those mentors. mentors. It comes back to their yeah. coaches. It comes back to, you know, it's not, and it's not just in the high performance system. It's club coaches. So all of that, yeah. you know, education through the coaching system, you know, tactical awareness, awareness. is huge, you yeah. know. And, and they develop that at a lot earlier age in Australia. We're, we're blessed for choice with people that support them oh, through that process. process. And, and it's fast tracking their learning, which is so exciting, you know. That's the best part about it, Gary. But I said it's not just it's the maturity of their shot selection. It's their weight control. It's not just controlling the length. It's the whole package overall. And there, once again, you must go back to the coaching staff that have put that together. Let's see a great starter here from... Um, from Alison once again just picked up the kitty so it, it must go back to the coaching staff because it's it's not just one item it's 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 the big package overall that's just been gift wrapped and handed you know absolutely yeah and we work really hard on all aspects you know we've we've got a huge you know, focus on culture and and how we represent. You know, we're yep. very mindful of the clubs and the and the country and mm-hmm. and and you know all of those stakeholders that that we represent. So we're very mindful of culture and, and getting things right. We don't always get it right, Brian. You know, we no, nobody's perfect and we make mistakes, but we all we always try to put them, particularly our development players, in in a good position to represent the best they can. Mate, and that's that's a great philosophy there, Gary. Because as we've seen with great success we've had, like I mean, I still go back to the night when Aaron. Wilson won gold medal here, Broad Beach Bowls Club, one of the, the greatest settings in lawn bowls you want to see in your life with the sun setting in the west, <laughs> the ocean out there, um, Aaron playing, Ryan Bester, the local hero, stands are packed, TV's on, mate, you could not get a better setting than that evening. And the success that you then carry through, where you went to the Northern Hemisphere and you brought back gold medals, which is just not heard of back in our era. <laughs> no, that's right, yeah. And that was, um, you know, you, you you sort of want to see the players do 
well, you want to see them achieve their goals and, and their dreams, and, and that certainly occurred with uh, Disco. And, yep. and then you look, you know, further when he went over to the Northern Hemisphere, and that was a bit of a goal of mine too, having played, over having played over there 20 years prior to yes. that in a Com Games and, and have having not achieved any results. <laughs> um, it was always a goal of mine to sort of see Australia do well in the Northern Hemisphere, mm-hmm. and we worked really hard, you know, with support of Mount Tambourine and, yeah, and, did, a and, great job and there. did a great job of simulating a green and getting us ready for that. And it's a great story when you think about it, you know, and that team, how well they actually performed. We'd been historically poor over there and to see, you know, Disco and even that game, you know, people still talk about that game with Christina Christick and, oh, yeah. and Ellen Ryan and just, you know, one of the best games you'll yeah. ever see in your life. And, and the English girls, Amy and uh, Sophie, it's were fantastic, fantastic. and yeah. it was just a great spectacle for the, for the sport. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Like, I mean, not just showcasing these young athletes there to reach their full maturity, but it's the big package overall. And one of the things I know our viewers are fascinated on is that the concentration level at this level, the mental preparation for an event like this where, even talking to the players on the first day, there was not one player here that didn't come to me that told me that he wasn't nervous. <laughs> yeah. so, so that's yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, you you know, you've you've heard it before, and and mm. majority of us have been involved for a long time. If you're not nervous, you don't really want it, you know. Mm. So, mm. Um, nerves are a, a part of the game, and and part of playing on the big stage. And um, yep. yeah, it doesn't matter how uh, established you are, you still get the jitters, and and that's a good thing, in my opinion. Well, it is too. It uh, it definitely does make you uh, switch on very 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 quickly, Gary. <laughs> but uh, but I said, like, I mean. There's different levels, as, as the bowlers out there realise, of all various types of levels, from social to district to state to this level. But the mental preparation that goes in to the players who play at this level for three big days, from 9 in the morning to 5.15 at night time, is that the concentration level, they must be, they must have be switched on with every bowl they're playing because... As you said, there's four selectors here, and they're all sitting down there with little notepads, mate, and they've got little ticks beside various things. So yeah. the pressure's on the place to perform, and that's and that's what it's all about. That's right, yeah, and that's that's the exact environment we want to put them in to see, you know, the selectors want to see how they perform under yep. that pressure, and, and that's what it's going to be like on the big stage for them. So for us to, to simulate that the best we can is... is what makes this such a great opportunity for these players and and you know i had a talk with uh young lucas this morning oh, you know yeah, character great, lucas, and i said mate how are you holding up and, and he said he said i'm not too bad he said i'm not uh, i'm not too bad but he said just mentally i'm just drained right. he said you know and and uh, he's right you know you, yeah. you, you, there's a lot to take in and obviously we get home of a of a night and uh, during this series and it hasn't been uh, you know, get home and go to bed sort of thing, no. have a meal and go to bed. We've been having sort of uh, educational debriefings sessions and that, and debriefings yeah. and yeah. all that sort of stuff yeah. of a night too. So, you know, I think we, we finished up a bit early last night for the football, but yeah, uh, enough, but prior yeah. to that we put a lot into it and try and fit in as much as we can for uh, for their ongoing development. No, absolutely, mate, and it's an absolute credit to you and the team. And, uh, you know, just looking around and seeing how everybody's so busy, it's uh, not as though you blokes just come up here and have a bit of a holiday too and enjoy the weather and go and lie on the beach and... And uh, do what most people do when they come to the Gold Coast, mate. You've, uh, you guys, uh, all of you, put on a, a great uh, team effort, and it's, uh, I think, it's showing in the results that that uh, Bowls Australia are achieving now at the high performance level, Gary. And I know a lot of it's got to do with you because I know that you come together with the uh, the planning with a lot of this, and I know you've got a great team surrounded around you. And I think that's one of the successes that you have if you sur- surround yourself with good people. Absolutely. Yeah, no, you're spot on. You're on on. a win-win. Yeah, you're right, Brian. And, you know, like, everybody chips in. Like, I have a look out on the green at the moment. We've got our AWE manager, Bill Ridderford. He's out there kicking bowls, helping helping, uh, the ladies with their bowls, moving them back. That's not his role, but uh, everyone has a... Has a red hot go in in supporting everyone mm-hmm. as much as they can. You look at our selectors; they're over there taking stats. That's, and you yes. talk about mentally draining while taking stats. Is, you yes. know, three sessions a day is yeah. it's absolutely exhausting. Even though you're sitting there, you're still concentrating on every single bowl and right they're writing different notes. Um, it was very funny yesterday, and and again, how fortunate we are. But I walked into the clubhouse, and we've got two of the world's greatest players in Karen Murphy and Ellen Falkner, yeah, yeah, both sitting yeah. there typing in results, results on their computer yeah, for yeah. the games and, you, you know, how, how, <laughs> how it's changed so much for much. them in their in their careers, careers and their oh, roles now and, and to have those people, you know, we've got Leah Lazaro, a HP operations manager who's running around um, mm. organising everything and, and um, 
we've we've also you know just tremendously well supported by our pathways coaches so it's uh, yeah it's a very busy time but it's more than worthwhile well i think of the planning there and also too the pressure is going to be applied to you in the next few years when the next time off games is going to be uh melbourne based or not melbourne based i should say yeah but in victoria so that's when the pressure is going to apply once again yeah absolutely you know we've already started planning and preparing for that yep. you know so we've um we're very mindful of home games and and how important that is to us i mean everything everything that we do and, and every event that we play in is important to us but when you're at home i think that makes it extra special um and and extra important to make or take advantage of that you know well i think so too because as you're just saying when you've got the uh, home ground advantage the pressure is extra on the players also too as well as the coaching staff or the whole high performance staff because expectations australia always like winners mate don't they <laughs> absolutely yeah no we're, we're very good at uh you know, uh, the total puppy syndrome and yes. uh, bringing people down. So, no, I think, you know, we're well aware of that. And as I said before, we just want to represent in the best possible light, to represent our clubs and states and, and the country the best we can, our families and, and all of those stakeholders. And uh, we'll always strive to do that. So um, it's really special. You know, we, we, we're you're really grateful and and, you know I still pinch myself to be part of it and and and, and in this role and we're very lucky and we're very mindful of that doesn't last forever so you've got to make the most of it while it's there and that's a very true statement that is something I know with uh, your age it comes you know when it's time to go you know when it's time to step aside I mean I I thought I'd never retire from a beloved rugby union but uh, when I retired um, I knew it was I had to but I can go and play a two-day carnival six games of bowls and I go home refreshed relaxed had a great time I can go and do one day's live streaming and concentrate on every single bowl and go home absolutely <laughs> mentally <laughs> shot to flames yeah, yeah, and that's the bottom line that's only just sitting here watching every bowl play because when you're out there playing like you're watching as much bowls but you're not just watching one ring you're watching two two greens yeah, as much as you yeah. can and I know how draining that can become yeah, absolutely, and you want, and, and it's emotionally draining too, Brian. You get in those big events, and you talk about the Com Games Thanks. with the, you know, the Aaron Wilson win and the um, the ups and downs, downs, the roller coaster, and the Ellen Rhines and Christian and Chrissy. I nearly had a, I'm sure I nearly had a heart attack. Or, <laughs> you know, it was very close, but um, it's a, an emotional roller coaster. You know, so uh, the mental fatigue's there, and and it's very draining those big events on everybody involved. Well, I agree with that, and I think too, it's a different, it's a different way of life. I mean, particularly, well, I can talk my time as rugby union when you're playing destiny's in your hand when you're on the field but when I went coaching as you said it's an entirely different pressure because you're not out there no that's right so yeah. you're dependent upon did I get them right yeah are they right to play today yeah. you know and uh, it's a it's a true factor it's a it's a whole new learning process and it's because you care right you know that's you're right. invested <laughs> you're invested in the people and uh, yeah. you're really passionate about it so it means something to you so it's uh yeah again it's it's very special um to be part of it and um great well, to see these guys out here mate it really is mate and also too you had a pretty good uh you had a pretty good uh bloke to learn from in glass yeah, no, we've been mates for a long time and, and you know, he's, he, he wrote me into the role yeah. 12 years ago and, um, yep. yeah, no, it's, uh, you know, I, I, owe, I owe a lot to, to Glasso and um, everything that I learnt from him and, and we're still in contact. He's our chairman of selectors these yes, days. So, that, mate. Yes, yeah, I see that. So we're still in, in constant contact and um, he's still part of it, which is great, you know, so. Well, it's one thing, as I've always said, if you've got a person that experience, you don't want to see him just walk away and not contribute because people like that are invaluable. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and all and, and all of that. You, you know, he's got all that intel and yeah. and all of that insight, and still got loads to offer. So um, we certainly get that out of him. Don't worry, as best <laughs> we can. You know, you know, you sort of you uh, talk about um, you know the intellectual property and people yeah. when they move away from jobs and when yeah. he retired, you know, he leaves all his computer yeah. files. Well, I can guarantee you, there's not many computer <laughs> files from Glass. It's you all, haven't got. It's all in the head, <laughs> mate. And uh, yeah. there's a lot up there, and so much knowledge yeah. and. Yeah, we're re- really lucky to still have uh, access to people like, you know, Steve and Kelvin and, yep. and, and Brett Wilkies and the Nathan Rices and, Mate, they're you know, still around. they're all still there, Carla yeah. Krasenix and, you know, all those oh. people that still are happy to chip in whenever they can. It's Carla's another one, mate, yeah. her career speaks for itself also too. Look, yep. at, look at, she can write a, 
a book about it, do you know what I mean? And that's what I just said to Ellen before when you said that she's in there doing results and everything. I said, you're writing a book or something the last three days. <laughs> <laughs> she swung around with a big smile on her face. Well, if, if yeah. I was, it'd be a bestseller. Yeah. And I said, I yeah. don't deny that, Ellen. Absolutely. I don't deny that. Yeah. Yeah. But look at the quality on show here. Like, I mean, Josh Barry and um, and that, like, it's his skill level is uh, a couple of ends there before. He was three or four down, drew a resting toucher. Um, does a mat round on the mat, very similar to a lot of these players. They've uh, already made up their mind what they're going to play and they just pick up their bowl and play it. And you see Kane Nelson, who had a, a nightmare last night when Cohen Lifton uh, really put the cleaners through him yesterday afternoon, seeking revenge in this game. <laughs> Absolutely. It's so. a funny old game, isn't it? You know, I, I don't know what it was, 19 nil or something like last that. Night, yes. And you look at the quality of the players out there and you think, how does that actually happen? But oh. it happens and... And we'll, we've seen it before and we'll see it again, but uh, he's turning the tables over there at the moment, I think. Well, it's all about the next game, not about the last that's it, game. That's you, it. Destiny's yeah. in your hand with the next bowl, not the last one. Yeah, yeah. The last one's gone and gone and dusted. Great what a great here. bowl here. What a beautiful bowl. Allison Pick, again. Again. Picked up two shots out of that. But it's like both these girls are playing great bowls up front, but it's the conversion shots from the two skips. Two very experienced campaigners in Brett and Josh, and they're having a great tussle out here, the two of them. But, I mean, look at the smile on their faces. Like, I mean, it's the third full day. They've been on the green for hours, yet they're still enjoying it, aren't they? You know what I mean? You can see probably tomorrow they'll probably go and play bowls somewhere else and have a game. That's just, it. That's it. Just yeah. to relax. Yeah, no, it's a, you know, it's, it's, it's one of uh, the things that we prioritise, you, you know, within our Jackaroo system. We want good people and we promote yeah. good people yeah. and, um, you know, we want them to be the best they can be and and you can just feel the vibe across this group, wh mm. whether it's out on the green or when we get back to the, the motel, motel and we debrief and it's just a really good vibe about the whole group. They're just fantastic people mm. and they're just loving what they're doing and it's great to see. And what I was saying there before about Josh Barry, look at this for a bowl here, couple down. Just going to sneak past, but he's put that in a very good catchment area for his next two bowls. And this is what it's all about, uh, setting up the head so he can obviously play a shot that he's going to be very comfortable with. He's got a couple of choices there to sit that shot bowl, sit and stay, or just trail the kitty now. Just uh, watching that bowl slip slip through there, it's running beautifully. Oh, beautiful. All, all credit to, um, you know, again, Aaron, Aaron Sheriff <laughs> sitting on that roller of the morning, you know. it's. Uh... Oh, mate, they've done a great job. And <laughs> poor old Leslie, uh, Greenkeeper here is, uh, they tell me he's on holidays. I said, oh, has he gone away? They know he's had a hernia operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, well, that to me is not a holiday, fellas. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and all the best to Les and all the thank uh, many yeah. thanks for what he does for us as well. No, I've mentioned to him a few times the last couple of days, mate. So we see Josh here. He's on a beautiful line here. I just don't think he's got the weight, though, to get there. So it's probably Josh's uh, worst bowl he's played in the three days that I've seen. So he has been uh, playing some exceptional bowls. As is this man here too. And, uh, you know, we talk about um, being absolutely nothing wrong with us. And you look at Brett there with his pistonic leg. And I've never heard one complaint from him. No. In all the years I've known Brett. I've never heard one yeah. complaint, mate. You know? yeah. Just an absolute... Uh, enjoys the game so much. And that's probably more than likely in the count also too. So they'll be holding, I'd say... Well, depending on Josh's first bowl there, which is in behind the head there... I do favour them for at least three, if not four. Yeah. Now, a bit of pressure on Josh here. He's got a good line. Has he corrected his weight? Mm, he's just under again. Just under again. So it's just turning, yes. So Brett got the opp opportunity here now to uh, really capitalise on this. Definitely, a th definitely three there. So he's got ample room to add to the tally. And this is what we've been saying all the way through. These shots really do count. They can come back and bite you if you don't if you don't add to the tally with this one. So, Brett, very passionate about our game, and he just absolutely loves it. He's on a fairly good line here, Yeah, he's Ron. played this very well. Pretty good weight. It's he's not going to hurt anything. Count. Yeah, just good shot. shot. Hey, what a great bowl. Gary, now you're busy. Mate, an absolute pleasure having you having a chimney to you, mate. And... Uh, Mate, once again, keep up the good work. You've got a great team. Good You're on doing you, a great Ron. job, mate. Yeah, really enjoyed it. And really appreciate what you guys have done for us, setting this up and just showing this to the rest of the world. It's magnificent, mate, and it's we fantastic. appreciate your support. Love doing it, mate. We love showcasing this great game of ours, Gary. So an absolute pleasure having the Australian coach in here for a bit of a chinwag, and I hope you all picked up a bit from what Gary had to say. So absolute pleasure. Thanks, mate. So uh, it is HP team doing an absolute superb job. And... Uh, 
Really got some great players to work on through here and uh, great knowledge of our game. Now talk about great knowledge of our game. Brucey Kirk's coming back, but he's lost his hat. <laughs> he's disappeared. <laughs> okay, good roll there. It's a handy pickup. Five. Okay, it was five, so that other bowl did count there. So, Afternoon, Bruce. G'day, buddy. How are you, mate? Good, good, Swipe. good, yeah. Well, yeah, I lost my hat, as Jack yep. Little once said on the uh, World Championship Wrestling many, many, many back in the 60s or 70s on TV. Mm -hmm. He says, I can't talk, I've lost my glasses. <laughs> 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 I could uh, always remember him saying, saying that. that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it led me to believe he used to uh, read a lot of stuff out. Mm. Tell you what, what a beautiful start here once again, too, from uh, Alison East. Gee whiz, that's very good first up bowl there, uh, Bruce. It was. There, that was. Uh, I was just standing out there while you were talking to Gary, and uh, that last thing going the other, going other that, way, yeah. other way, and uh, and Brett says to Alison, "Just put your foot back in there and let me show me where, where where's Jack High again." Ah, good. Thank you. <laughs> and he just goes plonk Box. and drew <laughs> the absolute to Jack High. <laughs> yeah, what a bowl! Yeah, mate, they uh, communicate so well. There was a lot of black, black and grey and black <laughs> bowls up there at the time. But would he, they end up with a five? Did they? Mm. Yeah, yeah, five out of yeah, that. Yeah, end, thought yeah. It was. yeah, they had a handy pickup, mate. They had a few on up there. So not a bad reply there from uh, from Jody. But uh, had a great conversation there with uh, Gary Willis, the Australian coach. So yeah, the viewers yeah. out there now know what it takes to uh, to get to this level. Yeah. Come on, Brett. You can bring it in with his with his He's right arm. arm. He yeah. said, "Come on in, you come." Yep. Yeah, and it was uh, it was good. I was listening there over there while uh, uh, Gary was talking. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, and uh, and this is a good initiative. Uh, oh. Wonderful initiative of Bowls Australia to yep. put this on, mate. But uh, as uh, Gary said, they've got some great people to work with in um, Australian Institute of Sport and uh, right at home. Right at home and also, and uh, what's very pleasing on the other side of the coin is that we're very happy that we can be part of it and uh, bring it to you people out there and... Uh, Showcase the wonderful event. That's, Ooh, uh, lovely. Absolutely, Bruce. I in, couldn't agree in, more. In, in Bowls World. In, yeah. Or the world of Bowls, oh. I should say, yep. Well, they both mean the same thing, really, don't they? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, see Brett there just showing um, Alison just in behind the head here. Just want something, just sneaking around the back there. So, it was a great afternoon to all our viewers out there. I hope you're enjoying the telecast. Well, she's definitely going to be behind the head. I'll tell you what, she's played this very, very well. Yeah, Brett's clapping that already. Yeah, back you come. Start to stop. No, yep. uh, just running on. That's all right. That's, that's all right. Nothing wrong with that, mate. So, Josh just standing there showing Jody Jack High, which is, uh, helps the players. And as Bruce has alluded to before, the routine that um, that she goes through. Hey, she's got a beautiful line on this here. Now it comes down to her weight. Yeah, it's just going to come around that. Uh, oh, no, she's going to duck across. But mind you, it's going to run across to the other black. And well, probably second shot. Yeah, it could be there. Could I'll just be. have a look over there. There we go. Um, yeah. Hard to say. Too good many well miles to come. Yeah, plenty more to come. Plenty more to come, that's for sure. Okay, down to the skips there now. Brett first bowl has to be just around that. There's one thing about um, Jody's bowl though; it's still on the run there, Bruce. So any movement it's, on that could is. be very beneficial for um, for Josh and Jody. But Brett with first bowl, got no doubt he'll probably stick to his forehand. A bit of danger there on the back end with that bowl on the run. Yeah, 
So you can, you've got two options. You, you can draw around it, or even if he draws under it, yep. he can go draw over to his other uh, his bowl on the right hand side. Uh, let's see which way he's going. Up. That's a great bowl. Yeah, yeah, good bowl. Very good bowl there. Round about two and a half foot, three foot behind the head, two mm -hmm. and a half. That could count that, you know. In actual fact, I'm quite sure it probably would. Looking at it from here, that is. Mm. Yeah, possibly three there. Oh, here's a good right. bowl. Pull up, uh, pull Josh. Up, Josh. That's a great bowl. Well played, Josh. Probably one down. Yeah, stick, definitely stick to this. His forehand there. There's no need to change. He played it very well with his first one. Doesn't have to change too much. So. Yeah, that's probably second shot, that blue ball. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, mate. And that also, too, as I said, all, all it has to do with his next bowl is maybe just rock that bowl of uh, Jody's in, too. Which Jody's is, in, yeah. Which yeah, is still right. on the run there. Uh, tell you what, though, he's played this well, though. Stop and fall. There we go. That's a great ball there by uh, yeah. by Brett Sellers. Great ball. Okay, she's saying that one second shot. Yep. Okay, gotcha. G'day, Dion Marshall. How are you? Oh. Well, he's taken one out. Okay. Brett, does he go chasing that second shot? I don't think so. A nice little trail on there to change, change the head, and he could end up with four shots out of it. Oh, yeah. That's He's only what got it, to bring it back probably two foot. foot yeah. yeah. That's what I'm pretty sure he'll be trying to play. Allison's saying go over. Go over a little bit further. Oh, roll it out there. Well, that's another way of making... Four shots. Probably four shots Just. there. Yeah. That's a great bowl now. Really, Josh has just got a dead draw and sit shot bowl, which is that bowl there, Jack Eye. Mm. And um, seen him do it plenty of times. So, Josh, big bowl here in the essence of the game. So that game over, is it, of yes. Josh Cromie? Yep. Who won that? Uh, Nick or Josh? Um, oh, unlucky there. No, Nick got beaten by looks that. Yeah. Tyson. Uh, Tyson. Tyson, yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four by looks of that. Kane's reflecting revenge. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, when in doubt, get the measure out. Yeah, where's he going to go? Going back down to the black one. Yep. And then turn around and go straight up the line to uh, to Jody's. Oh, yep. no, they're coming have a look at... Uh, at Josh's first. Uh. Ray Stewart from the Salander Lakes Bowl Club. That's where uh, Brett's home club. So. Yep. so he kicked that out for four, didn't he? Looks that way. Yeah, uh, thank you, yep. Dick. Good pick up there. Gee whiz, they're playing great bowls, though, uh, Bruce. They really are. It's yeah, it's a good game. Very good game. So it looks like um, Nick's picked up the silver medal. So two silvers, which really is a very successful campaign at oh, this it's level. Oh, a good campaign. Because there's uh, so many great players there. Gee whiz, hasn't this lad... 
this here led up beautifully for uh, for Brett. Once again, it's not a bad start from her beautiful weighted bowl. Yeah, that's a very good bowl there. Yeah, I mean, from had she come in a little bit, it would yeah. have been behind, but it would have been uh, probably a little bit closer, but would have yeah. been in a great position behind and to the left there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Jody, sticking to her backhand. Now I reckon that's a little bit underdone grass line. It's going to turn across. Yep. But pretty good weight there, uh, Bruce. So one yeah. out of two. Yep. Just see if um, Allison uh, adjusts. Yeah. And brings that in a little bit. Okay, it's got it away very, very smoothly. She's got to just drop inside this bowl. She's just going to get it on the wrong side. Uh, that's all right. Not too bad. No damage. No damage done there. No. Geez, I couldn't play bowls with Josh. He just said that last bowl's 30 centimetres behind. I thought, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll still go to the butcher and ask for a pre on the snags, mate. That's <laughs> <laughs> not I play bowls with a lot of old blokes like Robbie Allen. He still talks in feet and, feet and inches, mate. Feet and inches, <laughs> yep. So a little bit wide with that one there, unfortunately. Um, Jody had beautiful weight on it, though. Magnificent weight. Okay, Alison East on the mat once again. This is a better line. It, it's coming in. This was what I was saying about her first shot. Yes. Yeah, had she have been in, it would have been behind. Right. Handy position there. Just ran past, but uh, no, she'll be uh, she'll be pretty mm. pleased with that. She's behind. Mm. Uh, good bowl there. No. Jody had a beautiful weight of bowl of the last one. Just got to narrow down her uh, grass line. Uh. Okay, let's it away. Out goes the carer, picks the wheelchair and takes her for a ride. Yep. What a great bowl here from Jody. That's a beautiful correction. Yeah. Very you know, well played. It was about six foot. After That's leaving a hand, yep, and uh, and Josh Barry just started clapping. clapping yeah. He knew it was a great bowl. That, that is a gem of a bowl, mate. Yep. I'm telling you, this very well played there, uh, Jody. Uh, down to the skips now, mate. They have got plenty of room. The head is not cluttered. I'm led to believe, Bruce. So no, got, <laughs> certainly got not. Ample room to uh, to draw one here. But I'm sure Brett is even looking at that, that if he comes down and cracks an egg on that, that bowl yes, of, uh, yes. of Jody's, it's yes. just going to pop it out and, and bring it back to that bowl of, uh, of Allison's. Yes, ever so true there. Let's see how true we are with our predictions. Probably would depend upon how he, uh, how he dislodged it. If he hit it mm. uh, on the left-hand side, the bowl itself would probably go out of the... Uh, out of the head. Yeah, they've caught an umpire, mate. I want to have a look at that bowl. Yeah, good call. I mean, sometimes the lines, the lines are only an indication, believe it or not, Bruce. That's right. They're not there to say, hey, that's the centre of the uh, the boundary peg. Particularly uh, clubs where I've been, the greenkeeper out, that could be anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. 
So having a good look, and once again, yes, it's in. The it's umpire in. has called yeah. it as in. Okay. Nine times out of ten when that happens, I, I know I can't see it at the moment, but nine times out of ten, that shot ends up shot. <laughs> 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 but I can't see the way it's set up the head this time a bit. No, it's a bit short, short. to be to be in, involved in oh, becoming yes. head. But mind you, if it was where... I was going to say where it is. If it was in that position up that mm. line and behind the head, mm. well, it can invariably end up being shot. shot. Jeez, that's a good try there by yep. Brett too. Good bowl there, just sneaking around the back. Probably around about three foot behind the head, but uh, now Josh... Just looking to give it a friend. So this one needs a friend. And a friend he has given it for sure. Yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah. That's a very good bowl. And it's still a one bowl target. Yeah. No, there's nothing there to hit. hit nothing there just to hit. Said, except for the yeah. one bowl, mate, yeah. Yeah. 100% correct. Okay, Brett, have you a little bit more weight on this? He's not going to be too far away. Has he got the run? Not quite. More draw weight, that isn't it? So it is. Yep. Tell you what, another good bowl here from Josh. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's very good bowling, Josh Barry. Very consistent. But he's got, really, Brett's got a few bowls there now. He can actually rest off there, though, Brett. Uh, off there. If he's just got to play a little bit more of aggressive weight from his last bowl, which was more draw weight. So it looks as though he's let it go a little bit uh, firmer there. His bowl should start working the head now. Yeah, or just, or again, just cutting across the head. But uh, some great bowls there from uh, Josh Barry. And he's got another one to play yet too, so uh, make great opportunity here. To get back those uh, three of the, or the five they lost. Lost, and yeah. The, yeah. Probably got four there, I'm assuming there. Um, yep. And that's, as I said, what great camaraderie it is between these uh, these players. Like, you know, fierce competitors, but uh, really do respect each other. Three there at the moment, and this may be four. Well, I reckon it is four, mate. I'd, I'd give him four just for the way this one's travelling. Yeah, that is great now. bowling. Yep. Very well played. Four, Four shots. shots. Yep. So, now, their tactics have normally been previously, we've seen um, Josh and Jody play, the map will go on the tee. Yep. Yeah, they're bringing it back. Yep. They're kicking the bowls back. Well, not quite all the way back to the tee by the looks of it, so, you know. But, uh, got it close. Yeah, got it back yeah. there, though. Just putting a bowl in her uh, coffee cup holder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jody. let's see what length they're going to play. Definitely not going to be tee to tee. That's a fact. They've gone the reverse. They're actually shortening it. So there, once again, it shows your horses for courses on who they're playing against, mm -hmm. on uh, what tactics they're playing. So, uh, again, a lot of thought gone into uh, into this. So four from that last end. So um, as Robbie's got up there, 17-9. This is the 10th end. 10th end, yes. Of 15 ends. No time limit being a final. So an absolute colossal game we've got on our hands here. Tell you what, she's played this very well too. What a great start by Jody. Just going to run through the head. Great Ooh, line run on that past. one. A good catchment bowl there. So, not a bad starter. Probably just needs just a tad more grass with her next bowl. 
Uh, it's 27.4 degrees where Bruce and I and Robbie are sitting at the moment. Yes. According uh, to the thermometer. Clouds started to build up a little. Yes. Uh, nothing. Uh, re- nothing. No rain in it. in it. No rain in it. Oh, look no. at this for a start from Allison. Oh, good bowl, Allison. That's a That's great well starter, done. isn't it? Well That's a great bowl. Sitting jack high. Yeah, very well played. Up and forehand, this one, I think. Yes. Yep. Yep. Once again, though, she's got it out there. I'll tell you what, this is looking pretty good also, too. Oh, what a bowl. Stay with it. That's a great Stay bowl. Stay with it. Yeah, great bowl. Well, yeah, well played. done, Jody. Well played. That's... that's yeah, she had to stay with it because if she hit yeah. the side, it was going to cut it across. Yep. There's one thing I will say, though, uh, Bruce, is that uh, compared to 9 o'clock on uh, Tuesday morning, these players haven't got the same zest in this step. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at this for a reply, though. This is not far away. Is it on to the bowl? Oh, oh yeah. what a great bowl. Gee whiz. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is great to watch, isn't it? It's great bowling, I think, uh, Leslie. <laughs> great bowling by everyone. Really is. This, uh, this end is just changing every single bowl. Well, there's nothing to stop Jody from doing the same thing. Pity it's, uh, you know, that that bowl that came down that uh, Allison's that took yep. shot. You know, it's going to be hard to get in there to try and take it over to uh, uh, to Jody's uh, two bowls over there. But I tell you what, mate, she's not far away. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit underdone, yeah. but gee whiz, that's a great try. She's very much concentrating on her grass line there, wasn't she? Yeah, now, I mean... The, not hard for uh, just play the same bowl, um, Alison. Yeah, play the same bowl. And again, I tell you what, she's got a beautiful grass line on this as the bowl starts working into the head now. Brett egging it on. Come on, and you come a little bit further. That's yeah. Yeah, that's that's very good bowling by both those leads. Then mm. um, you know you don't ask much better than that. We see Josh having a real good look at the head as he's walking backwards. Picked up four on the last end, got a spring in his step. Nearly walked past his teammate there. Didn't even see them. <laughs> <laughs> that's how focused he is. So that's really good. In actual fact, I honestly do think that the most tired person out there has been the marker. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. He's been a busy boy. He definitely has been. He's marking. He's got he's chalking the bowls and uh, helping measuring. kick them back. Measuring. Yeah. Picking them up. Would have probably be better off staying down at Melbourne working. Would have been. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Josh. One, two. Well, oh. a great bowl by Josh. Taking two out of... Great bowl. Okay, Brett, now I've got the opportunity. See, I told you the most worked person out there is the marker. He yeah. hasn't stopped. Still standing up. Okay, Brett got this on a good line. How's his weight? Looking pretty good as it starts working in the head. Does not want the kitty. No, not at all. No, Where is it in... Ah, oh, there we go. Out the yep, back here. Out the back there. Not going to hurt. No. So can Josh roll this in, or if not, come under it? He's just going to be a bit light no, on. He's a bit light on, yeah. Mm. yeah he's got... Great try, though. Well, Beautiful line he had on that, Bruce, wasn't it, you know? Yeah, well, that's taken away the choice of uh, coming that hand onto, yep. onto that black bowl, rolling it out now. Yep. But he he's still got his other uh, bowl there that uh, on the run in that he could yep. use. Well, he's got a beautiful line on this one here, and it's going to come down to his weight. It's 
still just a bit quick. Very good bowl there, though. G'day, Wilksy. How are you, mate? Shouldn't you be mowing the green somewhere, Wilksy? Don't tell me you finished already, mate. Hope you keep them well, buddy. Yeah, he goes all right, uh, Brett Sellers, mate, doesn't he, eh? Uh, it's a pretty important end there, and I think I think Josh knows this is an end they've got to win if they're going to go and really challenge for this game. It's really getting down to the business end now, and he's only the one down. But, um, all right, how's his weight coming around that bowl, which is he's on a good track, turning in now. Great bowl. Yeah, well done. Yeah, yep, that well is done, a Josh. great bowl, Josh. Set a pretty important end. That's a great bowl. Allison saying, can you get that out of there somewhere? Yep. Are you going to wait it through that gap? No, no going he's just out. going to try and outdraw it, mate. Yeah. Could be a bit wide with this one. Yeah, he acknowledges that. Yeah, he's acknowledges it straight away. Yeah, he pointed out there and said, that's yeah. where I'm going. Mm. Yeah, it's only the one. Yep. So a handy pick up there for, uh, for Josh. Well, that's what, you know, that puts him into double figures now. Yep. And, uh, you know, there are only more we got. Well, just over halfway through. Yep. So, let's see what they can do now. Yep. Yeah, five ends to go. So, it's um, been a colossal game, though, uh, Bruce, hasn't it? Like, mm. it really has yep. been. The, the two leads have had a good tussle against each other. Must say, though, how wary the marker looks. <laughs> Big couple of days in the sun. He's looking very tired compared to the competitors. <laughs> Hard <Yeah>. work it is. <laughs> Pretty warm in that sun too, just quietly. <laughs> okay, so we see there uh, Josh asking for around about a... Uh, you classify that as a three-quarter length once again. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, she's rolled that absolutely beautifully there too, right to Josh's foot. Ken Argent from Alexandra Bowls Club down in Victoria. Go on, you, Ken. Great to have you back on board again, mate. Yeah, mate. He was here yesterday. Yes. Great game, this, Ken, I'm telling you. Okay, Jody on the mat playing her backhand. Could be just a little bit wide with this one. They will start working its way back there, though. I just heard Josh say, that's your line. So. Okay, Alison. These two have had a great battle up front. Okay, got the grass line. Maybe just a little bit underdone. Is she going to pick the kitty up? She's not going to be too far away. Yes, she's got it, and stay with it. No, I sort of stayed with it. And, uh, well, it was long enough in the first place. Yeah. There was no need for that. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, look at that. They're using more chalk and everything. That's a great bowl there by, by Alison. Alison East. Just waiting for the team, uh, Cohen's team to go move to one side. I'm trying to see the score over there on... Uh, I think it's 13-5 to, uh, to Kane Nelson. 13-7, sorry. 13-7, is it? To Kane, yes Still a is. few ends to play. Well, it'll be 14-7 now. Mm -hmm. They're just picking up one on that end. Yes, yeah, lovely correction here by, um, by Jody. Beautiful weighted bowl there. Is it going to fall over? Well, that could be shot. Pretty hard to tell. Yep. 
Okay, we've got Alison East on the mat at the moment. Once again, sticking to her forehand. Playing towards the sports fields here at Broad Beach Bowls Club. We're on the fourth green. Been a colossal two and a half day of bowls here. These wonderful competitors showing casing the skills they do have. A lovely bowl there too. Just gone to a very nice catchment area. Yeah, just run past slightly. but yep. uh, Pretty handy there though. Okay, Jody. Got a very good bowl there. Doesn't have to change too much. Could be shot. Not 100% sure. Too many bowls to come to worry about that. Okay, got a nice line. Comes down to her weight. Is she a little bit wide on this, I think? So I'm starting to turn in now. Yep. But, uh, yeah, just, just running gonna, past. Just going to sneak around the back there, yeah. Bruce. Never mind. Yep. Playing from a fixed stance, Alison East. Tell you what, she has got this very well directed. How's her weight? Not bad at all. That is the yeah, shot. That's, that's a lovely uh, correction there from... That shot uh, now certainly is. Yeah, great shot there from Alison. Played that very well. Yeah, because I fancied the uh, the bowl of um, of Jody's yes. uh, being yes. inside that other one. Yep. Right, Josh Barry on the mat at the moment, sticking to his backhand, being a left-hander. He's played some great bowls here over the last few days. Don't think he really likes this. No, the legs of uh, legs are given way on that one. Yeah, it's probably tired too. <laughs> Had a beautiful line on that one there, uh, Josh. Magnificent line. Just looking around about another three, four foot of weight. So Brett, got to be around that bowl, it's still on the run. Even a little trail there would help Brett. Oh, no. Not quite. Yeah, it's definitely holding just the one by the looks of that there. So Josh... Wants to come around that. I think he's a little bit under, though. Again, just his weight. So, Brett now got the opportunity to um, dead draw this. He must change the head up. You wouldn't want to give Josh three attempts to draw that. Also, of course, playing from a fixed stance is Brett. Gee whiz, lovely correction here, mate. That's a great bowl there from Brett Sellers. Yep, inside. Yeah, be just two. inside. That's definitely the shot. So it gives something there really for, for Josh to rest on too, doesn't it? Yeah. He's yeah. just got to be conscious of the fact he's got to be there. And I'll tell you what, he's put more weight on this. Well, that's turning well. Jody likes it, and... Oh, oh unlucky. Um, just yeah. ran through. He just got the edge of that instead of getting it in the belly. But that's a great attempt there. Good correction there by uh, Josh. Just didn't sit it clean. So Brett Sellers got the opportunity to add to another one. Just wants to be out wide enough where he doesn't knock this uh, bowl of Josh's in. Still on the run there on the line. Again, he's got this one. Oh, yep. he's oh, underdone. Yeah. Underdone up, certainly has. Oh, 
Well, a little bit lucky there, I think, Well, Brett. actually, that... That's probably third shot. That could be third shot. That could be third shot. Bit lucky there, uh, Brett Sellers. Taking that one out as shot. We knew that. Yeah. And the other one over there, that one there. That one, yeah. Well, that's the one I favour. The one that came in because yep. it was a toss-up between uh, a Jody's bowl and uh, an Allison's bowl. Yep. The toucher there. Okay, going to measure it. When in doubt, get the measure out. Yep. interesting because both of those I think it's going to be in are oh, the one on closest to mm. us here that's one mm, really. two four four yep yep very handy pick up it just been a little bit unlucky there just getting the edge of that bowl just didn't get mm. it quite it was about a quarter of an inch of being the perfect bowl that oh too right if he got that in the belly he just sat there for shot so uh, then Brett would have had to play an attacking bowl to try and remove it so uh Again, at this level, it just goes to show you don't have to be too far away of being mm. a perfect bowl, does it, for the results that you require. Okay, good roll. Length it out once again. Okay, you see the shadow there just at the back and the kitty just in front of the... Well, it's actually the shade cloths that are it's out at the moment. Cloth, that yeah. that's out, which yep. is a shadow. But uh, Alison just ducking across the line with this one. Stayed on, so Brett's happy. Good shot here of Jody, the way she lines up. So a good line here too. Comes down to her weight. I just don't think she's quite going to have the run to get there where this extra length may be just starting to take its toll slightly. Yeah. Hey, Alison on the mat, sticking to her forehand. Yeah, just notice there, Jodie, just, yeah, just focusing yourself on that last shot of hers. She yep. yeah, just replayed that shot again. Yep. And, uh, she has been doing that a bit, though, hasn't she? And she's yeah, always she, corrected the second time around as a rule when she's done that, uh, Bruce. Yeah, she was facing towards the scoreboard there. Yep. And... Uh, She looks like oh, well Tell you what she has corrected here Yep Played this very, very well. Josh likes it. Yep. Start to pull up. That's the shot. Yeah, well, yeah, it certainly is. Mind you, there's uh, a fair gap to uh, to come in there. Yep. And uh, I was just looking, but uh, Alison put her first one in the drink, didn't she? Yeah. Yep. What a great correction here by Allison. That's a great ball. Yeah, good ball. That's a great ball, mate. Beautiful correction. Yeah, 
Yeah, Josh saying same bowl, which uh, you know, take a little bit of grass with, was yep. fine. Yep. Uh, just a weight there that took her across and, and through the head. Yeah, it what is. a bowl. What a yep. bowl. Yep, same bowl. Yep. Played that beautifully for two shots. Yep. Good games out there, mate. Yeah, how's uh, fourteen eight to uh, to Kane? Yep. Okay, Brett, having a good look at this. Made up his mind what he's going to play. On his forehand. Could be a bit quick. Yep. Yep, in she goes. Gone for a bath. Yep. Josh must favour that hand because, you know, you would think that uh, an easier draw would be the other hand. But oh, mate, that's a great bowl. He'll take that. I'm sure he will. Yep, yep. Probably the hand to play there, I reckon. He's probably still... Either hand he could probably get that, but probably mm. looking for third shot, I'm assuming. Beating that jack-eye bowl. Anything inside that may be a bonus. Not too sure if he's going to draw around to the jack on that hand, but uh, oh well, you never know. <laughs> it's coming in, it's coming in, and it's well, that cut one out, so it's it's that's third shot. Yep. yep. Josh changing his hand. Yeah, safe for the two with that ball still being on the run there. Uh, well, that's right, yeah, because that could be knocked down. Yeah. I mean, that, it might save another one. Yep, he's played this well, though. Turning in, Josh. Oh, it could be a bit quick. Yep. Yep, just a bit quick. Gave it every opportunity, though. Okay, moving back to his forehand by the looks of things here. So he's cut one out. This is the 12th of 15 ends. 21 to 10 to Team Sellers at this stage over Team Barry. Yes, he's changed his hand again. Uh, wise choice, because I, I didn't think he had the... Uh, he couldn't have got in there to get shot on that other yeah. hand. Had a beautiful uh, beautiful line on that one there. He was looking about another four foot of weight. But, um, yeah, you're dead right, mate. He couldn't have. I don't think he could have. I think he was just looking for third shot. Yeah, he which, cut which them which down. Got, yeah. yeah, cut them down. Minimise the uh, yes. damage there. Yes. Uh, yes. But if you come that other hand, you... Had the opportunity to get shot. Yes, you're 100%. See, see if Josh... Josh will play backhand. 
I would su- his suggest. His backhand, yes. Yeah. And any trail of the kitty for him is beneficial. Oh, that's right. Yeah. He'll bring that other bowl back over there into play there, yeah. um, Bruce. Oh, no, you've used his forehand. Mm. And too much of that bowl, mate. Yep. Yeah, he's got a bit of a smile on his face there. Two shots. Yes, it was. Two shots to Team Barry. Yeah, well done. Okay. Well, it's all right. That's uh, that's two on that side of the ledger. They'll be happy with that. Two on the other side. I don't think they'd be too pleased. <laughs> yeah. They're right there, mate. We've got to wear the, wear, work the way down now. Yeah. Yes. And there's only... This is the uh, third team. last end. Yep. Yeah, that's correct, mate. So we've gone two to two once again there, Bruce, by yep. the looks of the... Uh, the length. Okay, Jody on the mat at the moment. Okay, lined it up. She's ready to let it go. Playing a backhand. Could be just a bit wide with this one by the looks of it. Yep, and a bit long too. Oh, no, it just stayed right on the edge. Okay, Allison sticking to her backhand too. Play this not too badly, no. just a bit short. Short and then just crossing, yep. took the weight off, and as soon as the weight came off, yep, on this uh, on a slowing green, she went straight across. Just looking over there to see how Kane's going. Uh, fourteen nine, is it? Yes, and fourteen eight. Uh, fourteen yep. eight, and Cohen had shot down there, but I think he just sliced the kitty to um, Kane Nelson bowl. <laughs> What happens is when you're chasing shots. Uh, Kane. Okay, Jody. Have you got the. She's out well there, but again. No, you still got start, one. T- start to slow, and away they go across mm. the head. He's still, he's still got one over there, so didn't slice it far enough. Okay, so. As you said, just cutting across the head there slightly. There's a bit of a breeze though, Bruce. It's not much, but there is yeah. a little bit out there. Just looking at the flags, yeah, I can't see. Where's our flag just down the bottom here? Mm. Yeah, but that, you know, that's a false impression, that impression. one here, yes. because it comes around, scoots around the bottom of the clubhouse yeah. and uh, maybe comes up through a little alley there. Okay, got this very well pointed. Yeah, that's the shot. Good bowl there from Allison. So that's the bowl that Jody has to beat. Okay, Jade. Backhand here. Yep. 
getting set. Down for the uh, the weight and the balance. Yep, got a good line on this. Well, she's gone a little bit further out this time. Yep, I it think good, good looking bowl here. Yeah, stopping now, shot bowl. That's shot well bowl. Done. Great correction. Well done. And uh, Alison now. Again, she's she's narrowed it up a little bit, like she did with yeah. the her previous two bowls, and she's gone across to where they. Oh, don't you going to run in? Are you not quite? Not quite. No. I still favour that back bowl, I reckon. Oh it? yeah, that uh, uh, yep. Jody's back. Yep. Yeah. Okay, skips down to the skips. Said, uh, this is rink 13, uh, N13. N13, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah, good grass. Yep. Yeah, he's played this pretty well. Josh working into the head. Just going to sneak around the back. Maybe just a little bit too much weight. No, oh, jeez. No. It just fell. Fell into the water. Okay, Brett. Brett Sellers. Looking to salvage. He's on a good line. This is a better bowl this time. Yep, play this yep. very well, mate. This is what you expect from Brett. That's a great bowl. Beautiful bowl. How long has he been up at Talanda? I'm not too sure, mate. Mm. Been up there for a while. Cutting across there, Josh. Yep. Okay, Brett with his next one. And away. Yep. Bit too wide. Very careful. <laughs> but, uh, Very dark up the top of that screen there. It, uh, Okay, Josh has been down for a look. Only the one down. Yep. Only the one down. At one of uh, Brett's, which was was a great bowl to yeah. get in there. Yep. Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, Brett's got yeah. Brett's got another one after this. So. Yeah, Brett has got one more, mate. Yes. Okay, Josh. He's on a good line for what he's after. Just depends on his one. I think he's going to sneak. Just across the head. Gee whiz, that didn't miss by much. He knew what he was yeah, after. Good so he's got one there. Ian James says, go. Brett and Allison from Salanda Lakes Bowls Up. There you go. Beautiful part of the world. Up on Bribey Island. Mm. Salanda Lakes, we've been there. 
Dug that. Going back there again too. Okay, maybe not just got the weight with this one, but he's uh, definitely got the line. Well, if it just runs Still on running. a little fraction, it could oh. well come in for second shot. See what it's oh. like at the back there. I tell you what, it may, be, may have just fallen out, I think. Not too sure. No, I don't think that would have... Uh, that may, may not have come in. Yeah. Yep. Well, we'll see what they put on the board. That'll help us when, That'll they, help when us. the skips get up that end. I'll find out. Joshy, one or two, mate. Yeah, just the one. Okay, good roll once again here by Alison. They're really bearing up the length, aren't they, uh, Bruce? It's, uh, yes. Very good tactics. And you've got to remember that they may be a bit of a... A call on here for the length because it is 23 metres. I see them having a bit of a look down there, but um, no, they're quite happy with it by the looks of it. Yep, no, Josh just said that's right. Nothing yeah, wrong with it's that. Fine. There it is. Great friends, though. Bruce, aren't they? All of them. Yeah. 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 They're great friends. They really are. It's, uh, well, a lot of them, as you know, they play bowls with and against each other all the time, don't they? Uh, good start. Just a bit runny, but back on the line. <laughs> Alison saying, slow down, slow down. <laughs> He wouldn't listen to her. Mm. Green running superbly here again yeah. this afternoon. So um, great work to the uh, Broad Beach Bowls Club, particularly to the green staff. And uh, must say, not only the green staff, but the bar staff, the kitchen staff, and all of the volunteers. They've done a superb job, haven't they? The markers, the umpires, and uh, everyone else has contributed to this wonderful event. We're down to the last two ends. Been a great couple of days of bowls for everybody. And a lovely starter here too by Jody. She's not going to be too far away. Yep, that's the shot. Probably going to have to change hands now. Around to her forehand here, Alison. Good grass. How's, his, how's her weight? Not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, lovely bowl. Nice. <laughs> We've got to let Brett know that no matter how hard you shake your hand at it... It ain't going to help. They never <laughs> listen. They never listen to no. you. I've got four in my bag at home that don't do that. Yeah. They won't listen to me at all. Sad, isn't it? OK. Jody on the mat now. Josh showing her where the uh, where Jack High is. Josh likes it. Yeah, I me mean, actually Brett likes it too. Yeah, that's a great bowl. Yeah. That's a great bowl. Well yeah. played. Both skips so, have of that. Well that's what it's all about, yeah. isn't it, with these? With these competitors, mate, they're, uh, you know, as I've said all afternoon uh, and all day, Bruce, that uh, fierce competitors, but definitely do respect each other. That's a nice try there, too, by Allison. Yep. Good ball there. Well, that was a good cider that he uh, that Josh put there before. Uh, yes. And uh, look what uh, uh, Jody did, drew straight on. Mm. Okay, Jody, she's got another good grass line on this. Comes down to her weight and tell you what, she's played this yeah, pretty well. Once another good bolt. 
Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well done. Well played. Well played. Brad having a bit of a look at that. Don't think he's going to worry him too much. Uh, I don't think so. I think he'll just try and draw a second shot here by the looks of it. Would be my my guess. Okay. Brett first up on the mat. Picks up his bowl. Made up his mind what he's going to play. He's just left the head. He's been thinking about it on the way down. Going to play his forehand. Forehand, yeah. Probably just going to look for a good second shot there, I'm assuming. Um, Either that or he can get around that front uh, black bowl. Mm. If he's into um, Jody's bowl and roll it out, he can sit for the second. But there's a oh, oh. great bowl. Why worry about why worry about second shot, mate? Yeah, hey. and why I'll worry about and, rolling it out? I'll just go and draw this shot. Yeah, good bowl. What a great bowl there by Brett Sellers. Gee whiz, that is a colossal bowl. Makes it very hard for uh, Josh to get in there. He's got a dead draw this now. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Dead draw and a tickle back about a foot. Which he's, gonna, which he's trying very, very hard. Yeah, come on, stay out. No. Gee whiz, that's a great try. That's a great try, I'm telling you. So, if I was Brett, I'd probably play the backhand to beat that back bowl there. The, uh, the bowl of Jody's, which yep. is basically three foot behind the head. That's what I'd be playing, but staying away from the head. But beat that bowl, is, and you're going to take uh, a lot of pain away for yourself, aren't you? Because if he does pick up the kitty, that bowl of um, Josh's first bowl could count. Yes. And it could be worth three or four. So, uh, yeah, good try. Just a bit runny, that's all. Okay, Josh. Having a good look at this. Okay, Josh mm -hmm. being a left-hander. Making up his mind what he's going to play. I think he's made yeah. his mind up now. Yeah, I don't think he's got to change too much, mate. No, he's only got to tickle that uh, jack back about up mm. six, six foot. That's six foot. Six inches. Yep. Well, there's another one, as I said, in the area mm. that I was talking about. But I think Brett's going to uh, change his hand to the uh, forehand by the looks of this. And try and sit that bowl in behind the head. Doesn't want to go anywhere near the head with this one. Round the back. Round the back. Oh, they had a few there anyway. They had a couple, uh, yep. two back ones there. See if he can get rid of that bowl, which I can't think he can without taking Kitty with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It'd be nice if he could because he's got four, four sitting there, four seconds. Well, three anyway. Definitely three. Possibly four. That's the only thing if it goes out that way. He can't kill it, though. No. Because he's, no. he's going to be three down if he kills it, though, um, Bruce. Oh, yeah, everything's at the back Everything there. Everything at the back yeah. there is, or two down anyway, depending on which way it goes. 
It could be could be three, two or three, but that would be game over. And I think it's game over anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the second last end and they're yep. ten, 10 behind. Start to turn, start to turn. Yeah. Ah, Not bad quite. Luck. What a great try, though. Great try there by Josh. Yeah, he was trying to roll that across hard yep. enough. Yep. They're pulling Great up. try. Oh, I think they're, yeah, they're pulling up stumps. Yep, well, they can't. Um, you know, it's 23-12. Yep. yep. One end to play. And... Uh, uh, they've got to play it, by looks of it. They've been told. They've got to play it. Got to play it. Overall team scores, yes. Makes sense. Makes a lot yep. of sense. Which is great because uh, it really is. I know this this rubber here is dead, but I know they'll be playing for their teammates. So, um, anyway, Allison now dictates what length they're going to play. <laughs> okay, Alison on the forehand. I'll tell you what, she's not going to be that far away from the kitty. She's just starting to work into the head now. Has she got the kitty? She has to. Yeah. She with what a ball! That's a beautiful ball there by Alison. She just said, "Geez, I'm glad we played this extra end." <laughs> that was the sad thing about yeah. it. Wait till they realise that they're playing away from their bowls bags, mate. I'm yeah. telling you. Hey? <laughs> <laughs> I know there's two blokes standing in front of me got to carry the balls back, that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, gee whiz, what a great first up bowl there by Alison. Great first up bowl. So, Jody on her back end. Yeah, maybe just a little bit underdone lengthwise, but, gee whiz, that's a good attempt. Not a bad start, a good side of first up. That may change Allison onto her backhand with that ball being on the run. Yeah, it's been a great game, um, Robin, that's for sure. It's been most enjoyable. So Allison East has changed to her backhand. Yeah, hold it up. Yep. Hold it up. Oh, it's running okay, but just losing its legs now. Yep. That's a good ball. Look at the grass line she had on that. Absolutely spot on once again. Okay, Jody. Got to beat that first ball of hers. And I'll tell you what, she's on a beautiful line to beat this. Well, it looks like Kane won that game over there. Um, I'm just looking. Yep. Gee, that's a lovely try by Jody. How many ends on the fours? Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay, yep. yeah, so, yep. Brett having a bit of a look. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a little straightener off that would have been handy. It would have been very, very handy, mate, yes. But she's uh, she's done the damage, mate. Yes, Mary, it's been a great game, hasn't it? And this is the last stand yep. of this 
intriguing contest, which has been an absolute pleasure bringing it to you. Three great days of bowls by some outstanding competitors. Well, the games we've done, we've, they've all been good games. And uh, looking along the, uh, you know, we, we're on the screen here, but looking yep. along, there's been some good games all around. Been some great games played, mate. There really has. I said an absolute credit to the competitors and uh, and everyone else involved. It's been uh, absolutely superb showcasing this wonderful event. Josh. Yeah. Yeah, thought so, mate. You got gold in the single team, Josh? So, a very good uh, campaign for uh, Josh Berry anyway. Um, oh, certainly. You know, he's got yeah, gold certainly. gold in the singles and um, silver in the pairs. Gee whiz, mate. That's uh, yeah, something right. to be very, very proud of, mate. Certainly. You know, mate? Certainly. And <laughs> Kane Nelson has seek revenge. <laughs> As he's just having a shower. <laughs> uh, I love the way the guys get that. The that must have been a ploy yesterday. Was a ploy. Was that a ploy yesterday? Four sets of security. <laughs> that's a big call by young Kane Nelson. <laughs> Good on you, buddy. Uh, that's great. Uh, great game, though. Great rivalry. Great bowls all the way through. So Josh trying to reach down here for shot bowl. He's just not going to be around that. Oh, is it going to run on? No. No, yeah. not quite. Yeah. He's blocked that. It's still there, really, though, isn't it, for him, you know what I mean? But now Brett just got to come around that uh, that pack once again. He doesn't have to change too much. Look at the grass line on his first bowl. Absolutely spot on. Well, he just did some spray. He'd be the best spelling bloke in the clubhouse, yep. I reckon, by the time they get in there. Good day, Dolly Nixon. All turning. Yeah, he's played this well, mate. Yep. And great bowl inside. Yep. Yeah, Brett, that was uh, that was a good bowl. Yep. Yeah. Very well played. Uh, Josh not mucking around. He's found the hole. Yep, he has. Brett got everything covered there, really. He's probably got, I don't know, probably fourth shot. But uh, if those two go out, he's got the best backward. So he doesn't have to change too much. Yeah, definitely holding two, if not three. Okay, Brett with his next bowl. Once again, he's pretty well down. Going to just sneak around the back. Sneak around the back there. And it counts. That's a very good bowl once again. Yeah, good position. Yeah. Yep. I think that one on the left there. Oh, no, the blue one. The blue one would yeah, be blue the fourth one, shot. Yeah, blue one, I think, be fourth shot, mate, do. Yeah. Yep. Right, last ball for Josh. He's following it. He's still full of energy. Yep. Got yep. the same gap? Yep. You wouldn't read about that, would you? Twice. Yeah, well, that's that's it now. Uh, yeah, they had to play that last one oh. for overall scores. Yep. Um. Yeah, I'd say four. One, two... One, two, three, and I thought the blue one may have been in. We'll find out when they come back this way anyway. No, they're going to make him <laughs> his last <laughs> job for the day. Measure. <laughs> Get out there and measure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, well. Well played by both teams there. Yeah, it looks like it might be. Mm. Yeah, it is four. Yep. Yeah, so three good bowls and one great bowl. <laughs> yes, that's for sure. 
fall. Yep. Thank you very much for that. The uh, competitors down there letting us know. Yep. Uh, well played, both yeah. teams. Yeah, well done. So we're... Uh, and what have we got left? One game to go over on the other side. They must be nearing their uh, their ends. Be pretty close to it now, mate. Looks like 13 they've played. This might have been 14. Oh no, this would be uh, uh, this will be uh, this might be their last end, 15 ends. Oh, yeah, yeah, 14-7 yeah. after yeah, 13 got, ends. Yeah, it's got the blue and uh, yellow. Uh, yeah. But the last end may not yep. have gone up, so that'll be um, well, Mary. Uh, yeah, it was a good game, and uh, we will talk to you, no doubt. Uh, Brian won't, because he won't be there, but Robbie and I will. Uh, we'll be setting up uh, up at, uh, up. Uh, where are we going? Bundaberg on uh, tomorrow. We'll drive up tomorrow, set up and ready for uh, Saturday, Sunday up at Bundaberg. Look forward to you coming on board. And, uh, should be a great couple of days up there. Yeah, should be good. Wishing yeah. you safe travels and a good time. And uh, on behalf of the Gold Coast Tweedish Media Team, ladies and gentlemen, this mm -hmm. wonderful event could not be brought to you if it wasn't for these wonderful sponsors. We thank them very much. Yes, yeah, certainly we thank Right at Home, in-home care and assistance, Right at Home and the AIS, Australian Institute of Sport. Wonderful organisation, what they do with... Uh, uh, not only this sport, but all sports in Australia. Fantastic. Yes. And thank you, Bowls Australia, for uh, uh, this event, the series, uh, National Development Series. Fantastic. Uh, and to uh, uh, Broad Beach Bowls Club for hosting the event. Yep. Which was great. And also, again, reversing that a little bit, going back to um, going back to Bowls Australia for allowing us uh, the honour of uh, of live streaming the uh, this event. Uh, it's been fantastic. We th we thank you for that. Certainly has been, mate. It's been absolutely wonderful. Um, three days to showcase this uh, wonderful event. And there's yeah. a picture of uh, Robbie, myself, and then Bruce down the end down there. Yeah, hiding behind the pole. The high behind the pole. So this is where we've been hiding for the last three days. So uh, absolute superb. Three days of bowls, mate. And once again, as you said, Bruce, a wonderful endorsement of the youth we have in uh, in our sport. It's uh, really been first class. Yeah, good kids. Good Absolutely, kids. mate. So on behalf of the Gold Coast Tweed District Media Team, ladies and gentlemen, ably led by Mr Robbie Allen, from myself, Brian Marshall and Bruce Kirk, enjoy your bowls and support your club. Bye for now.